Welcome back to 40 TV. I'm your host, 40. Today I'm excited to introduce to you another Final Cut Pro X effect. This one's actually a title. It's called Ripped Scroll. So first things first, after you download this plugin from 40tv.com slash downloads, you're going to open up your user folder, navigate to the movies folder, and you're going to find your motion templates directory. Inside your motion templates directory, there's a titles folder. Open that up and drag and drop the 40TV folder into the titles uh, uh, folder. If you already have a 40TV folder, then just go ahead and grab the rip scroll folder from your download and drag it into the 40TV folder. Now that we've got that taken care of, we can go ahead and go over the plugin. Right now I have a clip loaded in the timeline, it's actually a still image. I'm going to navigate to the uh, titles um, portion of my media browser here. I can click on it to open it up. I'll scroll down to the 40 TV category and double click on ripped scroll. That adds it to where my playhead was and my playhead was at frame zero, so basically to the length of the still image right now. I'll click on, or actually I'm just going to preview it, so I'll go ahead and press spacebar to preview. So it's basically a scroll that whips on the screen with a little bit of an animation for a kind of a jerky stop effect and then it fades out when it leaves. Let's go over the parameters that you can uh, modify for this plugin. I'll select it. We can adjust the scale of this uh, scroll itself. The size of the line 1, line 2, and the background are all linked together. So as we increase the scale and decrease the scale, everything stays in alignment. Because of that um, relationship, you are not able to modify the text um, itself. So you, you're, you're not, a, I'm sorry, you're not able to modify the size of the text independently. Um, so if you want to have a larger uh, text, then you're going to have to increase the scale. It defaults to uh, 50. You can also change the color of the scroll uh, to suit your project. So let's say we like a nice yellow. We can enable and disable a scroll outline. Um, right now it's on by default, but if you check this, it will disable the scroll outline. Um, it's basically a black outline that goes around all the portions of the scroll. If I zoom into 100%, I scroll down here, you can see right now it's disabled. When I click this to enable it, it just fills in like a little bit of a black outline around the whole thing. When I click on disable, it keys that portion out. I can actually change the color of my text. This is text color for line number one. Let's say I want to set this to, I don't know, obviously that looks horrible. Uh, maybe a dark bluish purple, violet. And maybe we'll set this to a, I don't know, a lighter blue or light blue purple. Anyways, those two things. Another thing you can do is adjust the baseline of the second line of text. So if you want to add a little bit more space between the first uh, line, where this is going to come into play is if we change the uh, font type. So right now it defaults as impact, but if you change the font type, it's going to change the spacing between line one and line two. And to fix that, all you need to do is adjust the baseline. You can edit the text by double clicking here inside of your project. So if I wanted to um, name this my awesome title, and of course I can click away and I can modify text line two. Oops. So by 40, so I can click outside of this, I can zoom back in or I can uh, zoom out so I can see the whole thing. I can rewind and preview my effect. Guys, I hope you like this title and effect for Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Uh, again, if you like the content, please rate and subscribe or like and subscribe in my YouTube channel. Till next time, guys, I'm out.